It would be a part of society and live. 12 years on the streets, a burden that brings Kenneth Early to tears as he tries to set up his tent for a new place to rest his head for the night and take shelter from D.C.'s first snow. We really don't have no place to go. A few tents down, we met Michael Harris. And I recently got a housing voucher and I'm looking forward to moving into uh, my own place. After 10 years, he's finally moving into an apartment. He'll leave the K Street underpass in Noma that has been his home for the past seven months. I had to deal with the mental illness. I had to deal with the drug abuse that's going on. But it still beats being at the shelter sometimes because you've got violence that goes on there. You've got a uh, certain type of uh, communicable diseases. Next week, both men will have to find a new place to stay. The city is shutting down the encampment January 16th, displacing nearly 40 homeless tenants. Bright orange signs call it a safety hazard since those tents are blocking the already narrow sidewalk. The deputy mayor of Health and Human Services says the move is for public safety, not to push the homeless out. In fact, two other nearby encampments will remain open, and that's where Michael says he'll likely stay until his apartment is ready. As for Kenneth, I move around. He's not sure where he'll go. The deputy mayor says they don't want anyone living on the street and are renovating and rebuilding shelters to try to make them more appealing. According to city records, there are about 6,500 homeless in D.C. 600 of them live on the streets, the same streets that have claimed the lives of 81 people last year. Aren't you scared? No. Why not? Well, because um, I must survive. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.